Upper looper. Up, upper looper. So the upper looper is this one right here that's moving around. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it right like that, I think. We're going to grab this thread here. It's going to follow roughly the same convention as the lower looper. So thread through here. In, in between the discs, not in front of the discs, not behind the discs, not around the discs, but actually in between. Through the tube. Through this guy right here. For our next yellow dot, which is down here. Actually, yep, yep. Then back up again. thread yeah that's why maybe doing it first wouldn't hurt all right so so far that's pretty much standard and straightforward mm -hmm. for what's in the picture and it's real easy to see now the thing that gets people is I got to get to the there's a little hole right here right mm -hmm. it's not as visible and no it doesn't have a little dot on it so Just the bend on that thing, just where I don't want it. Okay. Then I grab it and come to the front. I'm going to go ahead and turn the hand wheel so you can see it more clearly. it yeah they leave a couple inches hanging out of it so this one you're just going to leave hanging down the front here. yep yep i'm leaving back and back there it is so let's go ahead and you know at this point you know you could do that if you're not if you're only running the over edge part then uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't need to worry about the change stitch side yeah. uh, but if you are running a change stitch side we'd probably need to do that looper next or we could even you know, how, whatever order. So let's go ahead and do chain stitch looper next. So if you want to stop it.